my name is Sammy Cake and welcome to What You Lava. Our first one is pretty interested. Would you rather be tart and feathered or be ripped and chained? Oh, I want it to be both, if you know what I mean. But I'm going to choose a whip and chain one because I like whipped cream. I really like whipped cream, in fact. Oh, wait, that's not whipped cream, is it? It's a whip. So, yeah, whips and chain still. I, I, I want whips and chain. And it's kinky. I like kinky. What? I'm actually really surprised by that. I guess that's more physical. Okay, I don't think there's many kinky people in the world. I thought it would be more than that, but apparently not. Would you rather be a high school or below teacher or be a college professor? I actually think this is kind of an easy one. But I'm just going to like narrow it down a little bit. Uh, if you're a high school teacher, you're going to end up having to face children and then a lot of children going to be misbehaving and being assholes. Ugh. But in college, university, those sort of things, students are usually a lot more behaved because they're paying to get an education. They'll actually do the stuff as well. And you shouldn't like have to push for students to do it. And if you do end up pushing for students, at the end of the day, it's just going to be their loss because they're paying to go into education like that. They're paying a lot of money for that. So, I think I would rather be a college professor. I mean, this is just like a general idea of it. I mean, I know not all students would be thinking like this. Like, oh no, I'm paying for college. I got to, I, I got to do stuff. Because not all college students are going to be doing that. But I'm just saying that as a general thing. Like, that's what you'd usually expect from a student like that. So, college professor. I'm not surprised by that at all. To be fair, it would be quite fun working with children, I think, maybe. I don't know, because sometimes children are really annoying. <sighs> would you rather eat 300 donuts in four hours for $500 or drink a cup of cell milk for $50? Donuts. I mean, I know 300 donuts, you'll pretty much explode after that. But I would at least try to attempt that because even if you don't get for five hundred dollars, you would have eaten loads of donuts, and that in itself is a really good reward. So donuts. I mean, you can already like eat fifty dollars worth of donuts anyway in those four hours. So donuts. Would you rather have a stomach ache or have a headache? This is a lot easier. <laughs> well, actually, no, it's not easier because both are horrible. Um, if you have a stomach ache, usually you can just go away if you sit on the toilet. Yeah, don't imagine that. <laughs> but if you have a headache, I mean, you should drink a lot of water, hydrate yourself a bit more, but that doesn't always work. Although, I think I'd rather have a stomach ache. I don't know, it's just something about a headache, because you can't really just go, oh, well, I you can just go, oh. But it's easy to just go, oh, I got my hands on my tummy right now, by the way. So, stomach ache. Huh. Huh. I'm surprised by that. Hmm. Well, what would you do? Would you rather have a stomach ache or a headache? Do tell me. I like this one. Would you rather be the president or be a Pokemon trainer? I mean, come on! Come on! You know what the answer's going to be. Would you rather have a lot of responsibility and take control of whatever for the United States? Would you rather go, well, be the world with Pokemon roaming around and you go on a massive journey fighting other trainers and becoming the best and having all these friends in your pocket balls? Pocket balls, <laughs> pocket balls, and just become the best. I mean, come on, you have to want to be a Pokemon trainer. Come on, that'd be amazing. 
This is like the only opportunity to be a Pokemon trainer and have Pokemon in the world. It has to be that one. Why would anyone want to choose to be a president over being a Pokemon trainer? Seriously. Would you rather die from hypothermia, cold, or die from hypothermia? Firm, yeah. Oh, they're both the same. I didn't realise they're both the same. <laughs> heat! So basically, would you rather die from the cold or from the heat? That's actually a really tough question because, I mean, either way, you're going to be in a lot of pain. And either way, you're going to be suffering loads. I think if you die from heat, it's slower. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> so I'm heading towards the cold one. And plus, I hate heat. I absolutely hate the heat. I mean, it's really hot today. You can probably tell I'm scorching hot because I've got this really bleh top. I don't know, it's one of my favourite tops, but it's very showy. It's revealing a lot of skin, which you can't see, which is good. And I've got my hair tied up, I've got a new hat on. I mean, it's scorching, well not scorching hot, but it's pretty hot today. So, yeah, I don't like the heat and I don't think I'll be able to record much today because of the heat! too much for me so I think I'm gonna go for cold because I really like the cold much more huh huh I'm actually really surprised by that difference I didn't think it'd be that much of a difference I mean I would have thought this had had more but not like 30 percent no 20 20 percent jeez Louise I can't do simple maths would you rather eat fruit or eat vegetables? Come on! I mean, I like potatoes, but in general, fruit is so much nicer. Strawberries, apples, it's just juicy goodness and sweet and ah. Oh. Vegetables, I just think of like broccoli. I mean, I like potatoes, but broccoli and sprouts and all those other ones. I, I just, I'm not too keen on vegetables that much, really. So, fruit it is! Yeah! Would you rather order a beer at a gay bar or order a mudslide at a sports bar? I actually don't know what a mudslide is. I'm gonna guess it's some sort of cocktail thing. I don't know. Don't 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 hurt me. But I would rather be at a gay bar than a sports bar. I'm not even joking about that. I'd rather be at a gay bar than a sports bar. But I've actually been to a gay bar before because of what my friends is by. And um, it's really nice there. I really don't mind it, so all be at, at gay bar. Because they don't judge you. They don't judge you at all. I would definitely much prefer that. And I don't like sports. So if you want to have a good time, gay bar. Gay bar, gay bar, gay bar. Would you rather have a jello room or have a pillow room? Oh, they both sound perfect. But the thing is, it'd be so tempting to eat the jello room. So, I don't know. The thing is, if you have a pillow room, it'd be like in your one of those insane asylums, in one of those uh, isolated rooms, and it's just all pillows around. Ugh. So, I really don't know. I, I really just don't know. I mean, if it's like a pillow room and I have someone else in there, we could have a pillow fight. That would be so good. Ah, oh, but having a jello room, eating it. But then what's going to be left when it when it's eaten? Like, if you eat it for jello, would it would it just not exist anymore? That would be heartbreaking. That would be so heartbreaking. I can't. I can't live like that. And this jello sticky. I actually don't know, so I'm going to choose pillow. Pillow it is, apparently. Ooh. Would you rather lose your mind or lose your significant other? Ooh. Ooh. I think I'd actually rather lose my mind than lose my significant other. I like my significant other. So, I, I, by mind. It was nice knowing you. Would you rather own 10,000 Mr. Potato Heads or 10,000 Bubble Heads? I mean, I feel like this is a really obvious answer. Because having 10,000 Potato Heads would be kind of cool. But they don't really do much, do they? They use like 
put the little bits on his face and that's it. And bubble heads, I mean you, they don't, you don't do much to them, but if you have 10,000 of them, I don't think you want to do much to them, you just want to look at them. And then having all of them just go, all 10,000 of them. Oh my god, that would be amazing. So it has to be with 10,000 bubble heads, because that sounds really cool, just having a group of bubble heads all together and just nodding away. Imagine having like 10,000 bubble heads, I mean it wouldn't fit, at the back of your car. And then someone comes behind you and you just see all these bubble heads just nodding at them. That would be so funny. <laughs> I would love that. Would you rather get $20 or get frequently complimented for one day? Right, $20 please. Pay up. <laughs> I mean compliments are nice, but if it's only for one day, I mean, it'd be better if it was a spread out. If it was like getting a compliment a day for a year then I probably would choose that because it'll really help build your morale and I think that'd be really good but if it's just loads of compliments in one day it's just gonna get annoying and boring eventually and I don't think I would like that and also it can get a little bit awkward if you get frequently complimented you're like thank you after the first one and then they say more and they're like thanks <laughs> And then they say even more, and they're like, thanks again! <laughs> and you just keep saying thank you, and you just don't know what to do, and it's so awkward. And I don't want to be put through that. I mean, it's nice, I want to say thank you, but I don't want to overuse the word thank you at the same time. Ah, oh. So, $20 please. Thank you. <laughs> so this is going to be the last one I'm going to do for this video, and it is, would you welfare when we world only unicorn petting zoo? Or always have a car of your dreams. <gasps> I don't drive though. So there's no point in me having the car of my dreams. I mean, I wouldn't mind getting the other car of his dreams. But this is a Tesla. He loves Tesla, so I wouldn't mind getting him that. Because then that means I could drive in it too, which would be really nice. <laughs> but have the world's only unicorn pet in zoo. Surely you're able to make a lot of money from that so you can afford to buy the car of your dreams. Surely. So I think I'd rather have the world's only unicorn pet and zoo because it, not only is it going to make you a lot of money, you also have a unicorn. How awesome is that? I would love to have a unicorn. So that one. It has to. Really? What the f Anyway, that's it for this video of Would You Rather. I really do hope you enjoyed it. This was a better lot of fun to do, despite it's a hot day. Ugh. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like, a comment, subscribe. All of it is so greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. For social media is down below, right there. And that's it for this video of Would You Rather. Hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a cake-tastic day. Bye bye!